So now you're just fighting me. And a billion rebels. The Ottomans actually went for the war goal. I'm impressed. Can we go into the mountains there and not die? We're gonna give it our best shot. Oh boy. You know what, at this point, um, let's do click on this button and see. They'd actually cave to our demands if we made any. Of course, we don't have any war score or anything like that, so. No caving is gonna happen for a while. Well, at least the Ottomans finally caught up with that army, but uh, we'll see how that goes. It'd be nice if you brought your forces over here, Ottomans. Would appreciate it. So these this fort is held by rebels. Will the uh, will Karakunlu get a the modifier if they attack? And where are the rebels? They're down here now. Have they actually converted the provinces? That's the one I'm wondering. These are still Zuni. I know this, I cannot take Shia provinces. Except possibly Tabri- well, all of these are probably Shia. That's Coptic. Ah. I need Tabriz, but I don't think we can hold that many heretic provinces. And you are just spreading out to resiege your lands. We might be able to snipe one of the smaller stacks. If we can get. Oh! Unfortunately, he got there first. Ah. Are you marching in it too? You're not marching up here, right? No. Let's take our chances. Oh, of course he had an army right next door. Let's try to find until he arrives at least. Come on, win, win! Oh god, here comes the zealots. Uh, run away! Run far away! Yes, zealots, you can fight them instead. Instead of me. Sure, but what the heck are you doing down there? Oh, okay. Just taking a tour. Of course you killed the Zenits. Uh, what about you Ottomans? Are you done with your rebels? Because we have a war going on over here. Come on. Uh, da -da -da -da. Chances of... I can't risk the province switching over to the Shia. I guess that's what I go then. That's what, that's, that's what we're gonna do. Still not, still not ideal. But I will. Okay, we're just gonna hide out here. Ottomans, feel free to go and kick ass. I'm just gonna sit over here on the plains and wait. I did. I gave you two provinces. Now you give me something in return, would you? I wish I knew what the heck this, these zealots would do. I mean, the country is already Shia, and I have no idea why the hell they. I don't understand it at all. Why they got Shia zealots? But they did. I 
Well, at least the Ottomans arrived. I almost think that the Ottomans are kind of confused too, because they're not gonna unseed rebel territory by the looks of things. But I'm gonna set this as their objective. Let's see if they can actually go and set this as their objective. You go and deal with these mountainous forts. <laughs> Because I don't mind if the Ottomans w end up weakened here. That's actually okay. Then again, they are my only safety guarantee. So the second the Mamluks decide, you know what, we're going to crush you. Um, yeah, I am doing that, but you know what, we're going to send a royal marriage to them. Just to deter them. It never hurts, right? Never hurts to have a little bit of deter deterrence. And now they border them. But they border Karakuni. They're almost certainly going to attack them. Do I dare go up here? Yeah, it's okay now, I think. The Ottomans have sort of chased the enemy away. And at least now we have a little bit of early warning, even if there are, if there are zealots incoming. Just a little bit of warning. Ah... Warning. Uh, I'm still gonna build a spy network on Actually, no. We're gonna get caught then. So let's not do that. Um, not much else to do. Guess we're gonna improve relations with them. Just to make sure that they don't kill us. Now, the Ottomans might throw us under the bus after this. I would not be surprised. But that's okay. We took a province! Woohoo! <laughs> uh. And they're gonna flip everything over here over to us, so that's a good thing. Maybe I should actually speed, s slow down the speed. I took that a bit too much. Ah, let's see, what are you gonna do? I wonder. So I know I'm gonna need to have Tabriz one way or the other, but they're just everything this way is are of so the wrong faith. Uh, it's this province. That's Sunni. And this is Sunni. And that is Sunni. And that is Shia. So we'll have to make a tendril. As much as I want all the lowlands down here. I will see what we can t take. That's... <laughs> we need to figure that out first. Sure, now you're joining up. Um, okay, let's go down to the plains. Is that actually a fort? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, tension... Treason against. Uh, well, it's not like we have much in terms of loyalty anyway. Unfortunate. Or professionalism for that matter. So we lose what little we have. That's okay. We can survive. I think. Maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. And we already have enough favor so we can drag in the Ottomans again. If need be. Don't think they're gonna be overly interested though. <laughs> I have a feeling that they're just gonna, you know, declare war on us. Or, yeah, break the alliance and all that fun stuff. Fairly certain. And army career. Um, we can't really afford. Or can we? We are at manpower cap. What do I want? Do I want tradition or do I want professionalism? I mean, we have nothing of professionalism. Mm. Kind of wasted all of that. 
Tradition. Ugh. It's more a matter of loyalty of the estates, to be honest. And in that regard, we kind of want to make the nobles happy still. So, that's what they're going to do. The merchants are going to be pissed for a month or so, that's fine. Still haven't hired a new advisor, but we still can't afford it. We still bring, we're still so brinkmanship in terms of money. Uh, we could buy a mosque. Which wouldn't be a bad idea, I suppose. Only plus 10, though. Uh, in our capital, at least. So, our foe, how are you doing? In terms of... Forces. We still have quite a few, actually. So I don't really want to go deep. Uh, most likely, most of your forces are here, and then they're, they're, the rest of them are in a next door province. That's my guess. But you can advance a little bit. This one's not going to fall for a time, so... Hey, took the fort. Good for you. And he handed it over to me, so... Right, you see it on this vassal. I was wondering about that, since his ally was still at high enthusiasm. Yes, you go in here, Ottomans. You tear them to shreds. I won't mind. Mamluks no longer consider them a rival. And they only vaguely want the land. Okay then, so nobody's gonna declare war on them on these guys. <sighs> I mean they're, they're only rival. They're on <laughs> oh boy. Um Well then. Well, in that case, I think we want to take as much territory as we possibly can. Because then uh, they're going to be so strong. And yeah. If the Mamluks aren't going to come and crush them, we'll just have to take whatever we can and hope that the truce won't be long, longer than, say, 1475-ish. It shouldn't be. It caps out at 15 years, I think. Oh, yay, corruption. Um, ignore. Oh, now I'm going to be paying for corruption for ages. Ugh. Yeah, their entire army is there. Which is fine. Right, we were befriending France because <laughs> here I have all the Mamluks. I won't have to do that anymore, but I can start improving relations with the Timurids, I suppose. They are kind of the big, big bad thing on the far side here. Um... The Ulema and Akunlu, Karakunlu War. Karakundu, uh, Ishmaili relations with Hanafi becomes... what? Ishmaili relations with Hanafi becomes hates. Uh, oh. Who the hell are these guys? <laughs> or is that the schools? Oh, 
Okay, so now the schools will hate each other. So I assume that's gonna directly improve. Oh god, who had your school? That sword thing. Okay, so anyone with that sword thing is now really pissed at me. That's what they're saying. Right? Yeah, religious school relations minus 25, yeah. That's okay though. And the good thing is that we are the same school as the Ottomans. So we have that going for us. So now the Ottomans also hate all these other guys. If I move here, it's gonna move down and kill me. Just I just know it. I uh, just need to make sure that the Ottomans aren't suddenly low on war enthusiasm. Because if that happens, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, let's go over there. Improve relations. You take Baghdad. Or not. I guess I'm going to take Baghdad. Actually, we're going to go over there first. That's when that's when this one's gonna fall, you know. You just just know it, and you stop the siege there. Yeah, that's where his army is. You're gonna win it now. Oh, it's not minus seven. He can't win. But that would have been the time for it to happen. He's moving his troops here now, and you. Punched all the troops up on that, but that's fine. Let's see if we can get his ally out of this. You move down this way, please. Would be nice if you could actually win this war. Ugh. Hoping this is gonna fall before this fort does. Because we need to run away now. I do not want to stay down here. And that one, that army there is unleashed. So let's run the hell away. Come on. Fall, 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 fall. If this falls, we can separate piece this guy. And that's gonna weaken the Karakundons quite a bit. I can't take their breeze, but we can certainly take pretty much everything in the lowlands. And that's basically territory that will strengthen us in the long run. Probably a better idea. Uh, no to marriage. Sure, take another diplo attack. Why the hell not? Um. Oh, down there. I thought it was Circassius' flag. I was wondering if they were eaten. And it looks like the Golden Horde is gonna die. Not that I particularly care one way or the other. Okay, you sent one troop down there. Twelve. Get there. Yeah, I know I have a free diplomat. I'm not sure what, we're, what the heck we're gonna do with him though. Uh, Georgia is gone. Completely devoured. this guy. Seriously. Okay. Oh well. Hmm. I guess we're gonna improve relations with this guy. We might even border him, so. I 
Oh, this is gonna fall now, right? Didn't. Still think I want to be up here and support these two forts. Fifty percent chance you found our spy. Ugh. Not that it mattered. So the Ottomans have one hunter kill hunter killer stack down there. The other two are for at least one of them is a sieging stack. This one probably. Come on. Boundary disputes. Against the Ottomans. Ouch. Um stability hit, I guess. Yay. How long until the province is converted? January. Uh, in that case, let's buy the stab now. Yeah, we have corruption too. Yay. Life is fun. Now they're gonna take all this stuff back. But that's also a given anyway. And of course, now you decide to park everything up here. Arrgh, um, profiteering. Well, I don't give a damn about the Theodoros. That's fine, but I'm very much care about the revolt risk in Erzurum. I very much care about it. Yeah, we must protect our trade. Okay, so let's get that spy back. Or diplomat, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> uh, you, you should be willing to make a separate piece, right? Yes, no enthusiasm, perfect. I don't need your lands, but I do need your money. So, I want war apps, all your money. Ooh. Yes! Wait, no, force religion. Oh, it would be so sweet to do this. He's all Shia. I'm willing to wait then. I was thinking about making peace with him so that we wouldn't have to fight his troops. But, uh... I don't think we're gonna do that anymore. And you finished the siege down there. Okay, so your troops are unleashed. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Rebels. Uh, the Peasants. Well, you're not gonna fight and kill those peasants. That's a given. Are you kidding me? The Ottomans are fighting 4 to 1 odds. And they're winning. Granted, they're, they're no. And, and they're fighting a minus 2 terrain penalty. And here, here Paradox still claims, oh no no no, the documentation tax and all that stuff, that's not OP at all. No no. Uh, they might have finally lose though, but that was just... the hell? That was insane. Uh, you're sitting there, which is a not a fort. Which is not a fort, do I dare move down? To the drylands then. We're ballsy, let's move around. <laughs> 